Okay, it's a short video of the super light 14.3 grain CBD slugs. There's my press, my swage, my dye. It's not totally completed yet because it will be a part of my uh, swage press, bullet press, but I haven't completed that yet. So right now I'm just pressing them manually, swedging them manually, whatever you want to call it. I should have showed you that one, but nevertheless, I'll show you another one. Just wanted to quick, give you a quick demonstration as to how I'm swedging at this point in time. It's taking about 15 seconds or so per projectile. I'm carefully seating it on there because it's got such a sharp edge. I don't want to damage that edge uh, while I'm putting it in there manually. I'll show you once I pull. This is what I'm talking about. This edge right here is, I mean, such a sharp, fine, machined edge. You probably cut yourself on it if you weren't careful wouldn't go deep because it just isn't capable, but it's definitely sharp. So I don't want to damage that when I'm sliding it into the die. The die can withstand it because where the projectile is actually formed is way down at the bottom from about there to there. So that's what I'm trying to be careful when I slide it on. The pellet is in there. When I put it on there and then of course that initial little breakthrough of the skirt going into the die if I'm not careful I can hit that and I just don't want to hit it it's very hard material but nevertheless I want to be careful because it can be damaged I would imagine repeated scraping in and out of there while I'm swedging these manually could definitely have an effect on it Just that quick. And I'm um, changing my BC. I uh, don't know exactly what the ballistic coefficient number is on these yet, but nevertheless, I'm certain that it's going to be way better than a pellet. Just the sheer design of it. It doesn't have the Diabolo skirt. It's smooth, cylindrical, pointy. So it's gonna fly a lot better in theory. Anyway, just wanted to share real quick how I was swedging my projectiles at this point in time. I do have the pieces cut out to make my press. I just have to find the time to bore the holes and thread them and everything. As you can see it just uh, right now it's just I'm going by uh, muscle memory knowing the right amount of uh, pressure to apply but of course once I get the press set up it will be uh, precise uh, and uh, you'll be able to adjust it as well to apply more or less pressure right now if I apply a little too much you can see there's a slight little flashing there nothing that's going to cause any problems but nevertheless slight little bleed over from the die so when I have the press fit I mean the press set up it will precisely push it to the same position and apply the same amount of pressure each time and uh, we can eliminate all of that any, any little bleeding or any lead escaping the mold because it's just so slight I dropped another one of the punches and I damaged the tip of it so I know they can be damaged. They are hard but nevertheless 
you hit them just right and uh, you'll put a nick in it damage and I of course I had to repolish it and uh, it changed everything I noticed when I took that little bit off of the tip of the punch just that small amount of material removal and we're talking only a matter of a thousandth or so it caused that the whole die set up all the tolerances changes changed I had to oh that one jumped right out I had to make some adjustments when I took the material off the tip of the punch all right I'll make one more I didn't press that one quite as hard because I or I didn't dwell that has an effect as well the dwell time and it's not long but when you're running uh, on the the first setup I had in the sign vice with the uh, dial indicator I could watch in a half a second or whatever the fraction of a second that it was I could watch the needle on the micrometer moved that quarter of a thousand I'd push the you know push the ram the punch into position zero and a quarter of a second later or whatever the fraction of time is I'm watching the needle move ever so slightly as the lead works its way into the last nook and cranny of the die anyway that's it Fourteen point three grain hollow point spitzer super light slugs.